Hi there, something's just come into the Sunny Boy store, so I wanted to share that with you. It is an East Top Tremolo harmonica. So that's how it looks as you open it up. Cleaning cloth, as you might expect. And here's the instrument. Ooh, very strong case, nearly took my arm off then. Uh, there's there's the uh, tremolo harmonica, East Top tremolo. Very nicely made. It's a strong looking harmonica. Look at the back; it's beautiful. Very popular in the East, not so much in the West, which is why we've not really stocked tremolos. And people look at these and they go, "What do you do with that? <laughs> what the hell do you do with that?" Well, my first instrument was a tremolo. And I just remember the breathing in and out thing was very clear to me. One thing I was given a bit of advice or an observation was, it's kind of easier to play the faster you get on it. It's, it's, it seems a strange thing, doesn't it? But it... It, it doesn't do to dig into it too much and analyse exactly where all the notes are. Um, each, each square block of four chambers we would, as a diatonic player, we would regard as one whole. But they, it's a, it's a little bit more difficult. You, you seem to find yourself in the wrong place. So having a slightly wider embouchure I think is going to be good. If you can find where C starts, this one is in the key of C. So if you can find the note of C, then you'll, you'll find the map of the instrument. So there's C, so now I'm going to play the scale of C as I would on a diatonic from 4 to 7, or on a chromatic everywhere. So from that point of view it's exactly the same. And what I see a lot of people doing is on the on the tremolo is giving that kind of swirling flavour to it. Because it takes a different type of air to play it. It's much easier to play in the sense of air. You know, when you're playing a diatonic, you really need to be Really, really punching the air through it. This one's much more relaxed. So move it around a lot, fly around on it. You can play individual notes rather than the two tremolo notes. Uh, by the way, that means that you have two reeds in each chamber. There's two blow reeds and two draw reeds. So two, or each block of four when I say one chamber. Each, each blow note has two reeds to play the note. Slightly offset, which creates this tremolo effect. So slightly offset in pitch. One is tuned a little bit above the other. So the lower one is a little bit higher. The lower note here, <laughs> lower is higher. This one is a bit a bit lower in pitch, a bit higher in pitch than this one. So there is a slight difference. When you play them together, you get that 
interference beat, loved by tremolo players. Of course, you can play it just with individual single notes by tilting it. and not having the tremolo sound. And that allows you to bend notes. For effect, not for getting different pitches. So I think have a go at it, get one of these, have a go at it. They're a very good price, a very good, strongly made instrument. And you can have lots of fun with the tremolo. Have a listen to people like Ernie, Ernie Gordon and Simon Joy and the um, Donald Black. You know, all the really great tremolo players, they make these tunes come alive. So have a listen to those. And of course, Pip Murphy as well, John and Pip Murphy, have a listen to them. Cracking good players. And when you listen to them, you think, I'll have a go at that and then you'll enjoy it. So get one of these in, enjoy playing some of the, especially it works on folk music, Irish music, Scottish music, English folk music, Welsh music, works really well on those. Have a go, enjoy and see you later.